All right, the only thing that really went wrong was that I missed Bruce, my brother at the airport. He went to, he arrived at LaGuardia and I went to Kennedy by mistake. And we haven't been getting along lately, so he got pissed and he thought I did it on purpose. I ended up spending the whole day in a cab, going from airport to airport. But besides that, the week went okay, I mean, I did spend a lot of time in cabs trying to get around town, and I know Janet had some kind of trouble with her dentist about the dates. You got the dates mixed up on an appointment or something. No, I did not. They forgot to give me one of those reminder cards. We missed the opera, too. And so we were supposed to go with David and Margot, but we were so late getting out of the house. Well, they had to go ahead. And then by the time we got to the theater, the usher wouldn't seat us. But I don't understand it. I mean, what week goes by where you don't miss some appointment, or you don't get everywhere exactly on time? But then, the other night, we were supposed to go to David and Margot's for dinner. I had checked the apartment. Everything was in order. Janet was still in the apartment doing something. Well, suddenly I realized I left my keys in the apartment. Hey, wait a second. What is it? I forgot the keys. Somehow we managed to lock ourselves out. If Janet had listened to me and not closed the door, we wouldn't have gotten locked out. That's not the way it happened. I mean, you're the one that forgot the keys. I had been ready. But he was so busy cleaning the apartment that I had to wait around. Then suddenly he was in a rush. He even forgot the cake. I tried to catch up with him, but he was already down the stairs. After I closed the door, I could see him way at the bottom of the stairs. That's when he turned. Hey, wait a second. What is it? I forgot the keys. Janet has this incredible memory. You just love to make up stories. I can't believe it. I can't believe you're saying all this. I think I told you to check to make sure you had the keys. But he was so concerned about himself, he completely forgot about me. I thought he left without me. And then you turn it all around and make it seem like I'm the one that left the keys in the apartment. It's not right. Why do you act like that? I act like that because you don't... You don't do anything. I still don't know what you were doing in the apartment. We were already 15 minutes late. I didn't think you knew I existed. You don't take in consideration that when someone goes through all the trouble to set up a dinner party, the least thing you can do is be on time. I mean, that is all you have to do for a dinner party, is be on time, get dressed up, and go. Hey, wait a second. What is it? I forgot the keys. The problem is that you can't just relax. You've always gotta be cleaning something. The closet, the bedroom. The reason we never get anywhere is because he doesn't know when to quit. doesn't know how to just be someplace. He's always got to be doing something. Like when we first met, I like sitting and talking, everything. going for a walk, I but do you've always got to be doing something. That's the truth. I do everything here. She never lifts a finger. You don't have to do everything. You never help out. You don't have to do everything. Why can't we just relax and enjoy each other? Hey, wait a second. What is it? 
I forgot the keys. I don't know why you've got to be such a bitch about this whole thing. I don't care whether we're late all the time. I can't stand all that tension and everything. Oh, that's a joke. You don't care. Huh? It's not a joke. Is it a joke that you're so uncooperative? All this relaxing and being of yours is just an excuse for you being a slob. It's an excuse you don't have to help out. You don't have to do anything around here. Hey, wait a second. You're so self-centered. It's incredible to me. She's so self-centered, she doesn't think of anybody but herself. What is it? Look, speaking of self-centered, you never wait for me. You play around until the last minute, and then you rush me. For you, the whole thing is a goddamn race. I am sick of it. Wait a second. What is it? I've got the keys. I'm not going out again. If you want to go out, you can. I'm not going to go through all this again. I've had enough of it. If we can't get it together to do something, we can't, so what? I mean, I really don't care. You want to just be together. You should just relax and enjoy ourselves. Well, why don't you start relaxing and enjoying yourself right here, right now? Let's just do that. I didn't mean Let's that. Let's get it over with. Oh, I didn't mean that we have to stay in and never do anything. Go out if you want. I'm not stopping you. Am I stopping you at all in any kind of way? You can go out if you want. I don't want to go out by myself. I don't want to go out by myself. 